quiz type. So now let us test our understanding of the entire discussion on redemption of preference shares. After every question, I'll pause for 5 to 10 seconds so that you can go, go through the options and decide on the correct answer. Preference shares can be redeemed A. Only if they are fully paid B. Even if they are partly paid up C. After getting the permission from the court only and D. All of the above Preference shares can be redeemed The correct answer should be only if they are fully paid up Partly paid up shares cannot be redeemed permission from court is not required therefore all of the above does not apply and the correct answer should be a only if they are fully paid up next which of the following statements is false a company can redeem its preference shares b preference shareholders are creditors of a company c the part of the authorized capital which can be called up only in the event of liquidation of a company is called reserve capital. D. Capital redemption reserve can be utilized for issuing fully paid bonus shares. Which of the following statements is false? The company can redeem its preference shares. The part of authorized capital which can be called up only in the event of liquidation is called reserve capital. It is true. Capital redemption reserve can be used for issuing fully bonus shares. True. So we are left with option B. Preference shareholders are creditors of the company. That is false. They are owners of the company. Preference shareholders are actually owners of the company. So correct option is B. Preference shareholders are creditors of a company is a false statement. Next, redeemable preference shares of rupees 2 lakh are redeemed at par for which fresh equity shares of rupees 1 lakh 60,000 are issued at a discount of 10%. The amount transferred to capital redemption reserve will be A. 40,000 B. 56,000 C. 2 lakh and D, 1,60,000. Face value of preference shares to be redeemed is 2 lakh. Proceeds of fresh issue. What is fresh issue? Equity shares of rupees 1,60,000. This is the capital value, face value, issued at a discount of 10%. When they are issued at a discount, we consider the issue price since it is lower than the face value. So, 160000 what is the proceeds of fresh issue, face value minus 16000 we are talking about 144000 Therefore, 56000 should be the amount transferred to capital redemption reserve account. The correct answer, therefore, should be option B. 56,000. Next. Which of the following accounts can be used for transfer to capital redemption reserve account? A. General reserve. B. Forfeited shares account. C. Profits prior to incorporation. D. Securities premium account. For transfer to capital redemption reserve, we use free reserves. What is a free reserve? General reserve is a free reserve. Forfeited share account is not used. Forfeited share account, if there's a balance left, gets transferred to capital reserve. Profits prior to incorporation are not used. That also gets transferred to capital reserve. Securities premium cannot be used for redemption of preference shares, though it can be used to set off the premium on redemption. So a correct answer should be A. General reserve account <clears throat> that is used. General reserve account can be used for transfer to capital redemption reserve account. Next, <clears throat> the 
the balance appearing in the books of a company at the end of the year were capital redemption reserve 50000 securities premium 5000 revaluation reserve 20000 profit and loss account debit balance 10000 maximum amount available for distribution of bonus shares will be a 50000 b 55000 c 45000 and d 57000 amount available for issue of bonus shares capital redemption reserve is entirely available for issue of bonus shares securities premium is also available for issue of bonus shares profit revaluation reserve is not available and profit and loss account has a debit balance this of course is not a profit account at all it's an accumulated loss account therefore the maximum amount should be 50 plus 5 55 thousand the correct answer should be b 55000 next a preference share which carries the right of sharing in the surplus left after paying equity dividend is called a convertible preference share b cumulative preference share c participating preference share and d all of the above which carries the right of sharing in the surplus left after paying equity dividend is called a participating preference share. They can participate in additional profits and they can participate in the surplus assets in case the company is being wound up. So the correct answer should be C. Next, usually preference shares are non-redeemable and convertible preference shares B. Non-participating and cumulative preference shares. Participating and cumulative preference shares. D. Non-redeemable and non-convertible preference shares. Considering all these features, I'll just list. Preference shares are usually, usually, if nothing is mentioned, Preference shares are redeemable. We cannot issue shares which are non-redeemable. They should be redeemable within a period of 20 years. Usually they are redeemable. Usually they are non-convertible. Usually they are non-participating. And usually they are cumulative. So let us see which one non-redeemable does not work. Normally they are non-participating cumulative. This is fine. They are not usually participating and they are cannot be non-redeemable. So option B, option B should be the correct, correct answer. I repeat, normally Preference shares would be, if nothing is mentioned, preference shares would be redeemable, they would be non-convertible, non-participating and cumulative. The correct answer in this case would be B, non-participating and cumulative preference shares. Next. Sorry, I jumped. Pref redeemable preference shares must be redeemed within A. 5 years B. 10 years C. 15 years D. 20 years Redeemable preference shares must be redeemed within 20 years. The correct answer should be D. 20 years. Next. In case of redemption option of preference shares is out of the fresh issue of equity shares. Which of the following account will be credited? In case of redemption option of preference shares is out of the fresh issue of equity shares, then what is the account which will be credited? Capital reserve account, equity share capital account, C current liabilities and provisions account and D capital redemption reserve account. Here the answer should be equity share capital account 
we don't have capital reserve account for redemption of preference shares we don't need to credit any current liabilities and provisions account capital redemption reserve account would have been credited if it was out of free reserves so here it is out of fresh issue of equity shares and equity share capital is the only account is the only option which would work out of these four options so b equity share capital should be credited when preference shares are being redeemed out of fresh issue of shares next securities premium cannot be used cannot be used to issue bonus shares b to redeem preference shares c to write off preliminary expenses and d to write off discount on issue of shares the correct answer should be b to redeem preference shares because securities premium can be used to issue bonus shares it can be used to write off preliminary expenses and it can be used to write off discount on issue of shares but it cannot be used to redeem preference shares what is the fourth use it can be used to set off premium on redemption but not for redemption securities premium can be used to write off the premium on redemption of preference shares but not not to redeem preference shares so the correct answer here securities premium cannot be used to option b redeem preference shares next which of the following statement is true only fully paid up preference shares can be redeemed partly paid up preference shares can be redeemed by the company a company can issue preference shares with voting rights a company cannot redeem its preference shares at a premium which of the following statements is true a company cannot redeem its preference shares at a premium i'm starting from d company cannot redeem no that's false statement this is false a company can issue preference shares with voting rights no preference shares do not have voting rights partly paid up preference shares can be redeemed no only fully paid up shares can be redeemed only fully paid up shares can be redeemed that is correct therefore option a is true only fully paid up preference shares can be redeemed xyz limited had 50000 12% preference shares of 10 each redeemable after 4 years at par The company issued one thousand fourteen percent debentures of hundred each at a premium of ten percent. It also issued twenty thousand ten percent preference shares of ten each at a discount of ten percent. What is the minimum amount required to be transferred to capital redemption reserve? A two lakh, B three lakhs, C two lakh ten thousand, and D three lakh twenty thousand. face value of preference shares to be redeemed is 5 lakh proceeds of fresh issue the company issued debentures debenture issue of debentures is not fresh issue of capital proceeds of fresh issue of shares only so it issued 20000 10% preference shares of 10 each at a discount of 10% at a discount of 10% so what is the proceeds of fresh issue it would be the discounted price so we are talking of 20000 into 9 180000 what is it it is either face value or issue price whichever is lower since the discounted value is lower we take 180000 therefore the amount to be transferred to capital redemption reserve should be 3 lakh 20000 the correct answer option d 3 lakh 